Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Patrice Dayton and I'm Ron Drell Moore. Just five days after being shot in the line of duty, Vermilion County Sheriff's Deputy Joe Wilson is back home. He says after what happened, he's thankful just to be alive. News 10's Blake Dahlier sat down one on one with Deputy Wilson earlier today. Blake's live in our newsroom with details from that interview. Patrice Rondrell, Joe Wilson was in great spirits earlier today. He was even walking around and he says he is just thankful to be alive after being shot in the line of duty earlier last week. Take a look at this. This is Vermilion County Deputy Joe Wilson walking just four days after being shot in the shin and foot. Not only is he home and walking, but he says he's ready to get back to work. There's a lot of officers that didn't get to make it home and didn't get to experience the, the welcoming home that I got from the community and surrounding agencies. And that's why the running joke with this is it's just a scratch. His family, first responders and other police agencies were there to celebrate Wilson's homecoming. Out of everyone that supported him, Wilson says there was one moment that was the most special. I got a three year old at home. I had that she wasn't old enough to come see me, so I had to Skype her. Uh, the second she walked in the door, she clumped up on me, big old kiss. And I, it, I mean, it was a very emotional time to come home to. Vermilion County Sheriff Mike Holtkamp says he's thankful that Wilson is okay and proud of how deputies handled the situation. This could have been so much worse, and thank goodness it wasn't. You know, Joey's a great guy, great friend, and well loved and respected throughout the community and we're glad to have him home. Wilson says while the emotions are high, there's nowhere else he'd rather be than home. I'm really appreciative to everyone that's reached out and supported me. And like I said, there's there's families out there that didn't get to get their officer to come home. And I'm, I'm very grateful that I did. Wilson expects to be fully recovered in six to eight weeks. Reporting live in the newsroom, Blake Dollier, News 10. Oh, so glad he's home.